Here at Witch EV, we get as many questions about public charging as we do about which EV you should buy next. When the Nissan Leaf was first being sold in the UK almost 10 years ago, there were very few places you could get a charge. Now, according to ZapMap, there are close to 30,000 chargers across the UK. At the same time, companies have been gathering data on how people have been charging, the issues they're facing, and what people want from charger destinations. We're here at the Osprey Charging Hub in Banbury, north of Oxford, and we're going to be using this hub to show you how easy charging can be with one of the most up-to-date UK networks. This is one of the new generation high-powered EV charging hubs that is being rolled out across the UK. The first opened in Wolverhampton and the plan is to get 150 of these by 2025. What you can see behind me are six charging points, each one located in a wide bay for easy access. They are the latest ChemPower S-Series with cable management and low-level screens. They offer DC charging at up to 125 kilowatts for most cars, but they also support a faster 150 kilowatt mode for the latest EVs with 800 volt capability. Each one comes with a CHAdeMO connector for older designs like the Leaf we mentioned earlier, and CCS, which is compatible with every other car. As you can see from the surroundings, this charger hub has been located in a nice, safe space with plenty of retail outlets nearby, giving you something to do while you recharge your EV. These chargers use contactless payment as standard and are currently 49p per kilowatt hour. Apps from Osprey, WhatsApp and ZapMap will give you live information as to the status of the chargers, and there's a 24-hour hotline you can call if you have any issues. The advantage of using the Osprey app is that you can get live charger availability and remote charging charge monitoring for the same price. Unusually for a charger network, there's no membership required, no minimum spend or additional fees required to use this charger. That said, if you do decide that you want more information about your charge while you're out shopping or eating, then you can scan an on-screen QR code to get the live information. If you're using a modern network like Osprey, then the charging could not be simpler. Put in the location on your sat nav or app, check that there's a charger available and drive to it. You'll know they're all rapid chargers because that's the only kind you'll find at this hub. You park, plug in and follow the payment instructions on screen. We're going to scan the QR code so we can monitor the charge while we have a coffee. It's worth bearing in mind that cars will charge very quickly up to about 50%, but they'll slow down at about 70 to 80%. The last part of your charge from 80 to 100% can take a long time with rapid DC chargers. That's because charging fast at the end puts a strain on your battery. So car manufacturers adjust the software to help your battery live longer. You'll see this referred to as the charging curve, and it's different for every car. We recommend that you ask the manufacturer for the charging curve for your car. And that's that's it, you drive to the DC charger, plug in, pay, and get all the juice you need. So that's how easy it can be to charge an EV. Though I'm sure you have many questions, so we have created an FAQ section linked below. It would be great if it was always as easy as it is with this brand new Osprey charging hub. In reality though, for now at least, there are still some hurdles to get over. But things should be getting better with the government's latest 1.6 billion pound initiative. So that should really help. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment and subscribe to Witch EV YouTube channel.